and you know there are many christians who are not born again so that's why there's no salvation in christianity salvation is in christ if being a christian automatically gets you born again it means the moment you enter kfc you become a chicken burger calling yourself a christian doesn't mean you're saved there are elders who are not saved and there are pastors who are not saved there are prophets who don't know what salvation is even the way they read bible your children can teach them how to read bible but they are prophets there's no special gospel for the gays the same gospel for the thief is the same message for the gays and is the same message for for the occultic man is the same message for the muslim for the buddhist for the shintoist and for the religious christian only you understand <laughs> there's a guy in this country i don't want to call his name you know i don't like calling names but all of you know him and if you're conversant with his lines when i speak now you'll know who i'm talking about he said i am a christian but i'm not a born again i'm a christian but i am not a born again because the moment you say you are a born again they will say forgive and me i don't want to forgive so i'm a christian but i am not a born again and you know there are many christians who are not born again so that's why there's no salvation in christianity salvation is in christ if being a christian automatically gets you born again it means the moment you enter kfc you become a chicken burger immediately you enter kfc you just become a chicken burger because you are in the center of chicken burgers that means the moment you enter mcdonald's you become a donut so if it is not automatic it means being calling yourself a christian doesn't mean you're saved there are elders who are not saved and there are pastors who are not saved there are prophets who don't know what salvation is even the way they read bible your children can teach them how to read bible but they are prophets you don't know what i'm talking about even when you give them expo they are carrying the bible like this not that they memorize it they still cannot read it but they are prophets so. <laughs> and the bible says knowledge should be found in the mouth of the priest but they can't even read it when you give them and they are prophets <laughs> we get work <laughs> let me continue <laughs> There is no special gospel for gays and there's no special gospel for Buddhists. The gospel is one gospel to all. The same message to the president is the same message to the Muslim. Is the same message to the Buddhist. Is the same message to the Christian who is not saved. Is the same message to the unbeliever. One message. Christ died for all according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again according to the scriptures Romans 4 25 who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification faith in that message automatically gives man eternal life that whosoever who what not christians that whosoever irrespective of his religious affiliation that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have the moment a man believes that gospel even if he's still on top of a shrine he receives eternal life shrine cannot stop eternal life from entering eternal life defeated shrine two thousand years ago eternal life re defeated religious demons two thousand years ago seeing that hell and the grave could not keep jesus down it it vomited him he rose triumphantly what couldn't defeat him two thousand years ago cannot stop him from saving a man he will walk into that shrine and free that man the moment the man receives the gospel shout i hear you